Welcome to Headline This Live. This is our first live broadcast. I hope you're hearing us loud and clear. And I'm um, just um, getting everybody straight about what we're doing. Um, I'm going to be running the chat, running the board, running everything, and pouring the beer at the same time. So uh, you'll have to just bear with me. If there are any silences, then uh, it's probably going to be filled with cursing. But that shouldn't happen because we're a very clear radio, clean radio station, and um, I'm hoping that uh, we can keep that clean. Okay, so uh, let's see what we've got going. We've got a, a few people uh, chatting at the moment. A few people can hear us. It's good that you can hear us. That means it's working. Uh, however, if you can't hear us, then I can't really help you right now. So all uh, all your all the faith in the world is going to be on you going into Facebook and looking at that middle message about how you can hook up. So, uh, but uh, that's it's great that you're here. If you are here, um, let's just see. We've got uh, my wife is is just posting loud and clear. So that's good. That's good. I hope she's got good headphones. Uh, my wife is not in the house at the moment, so uh, let's let's see anybody else. Okay, can't hear that via that either. And I'm afraid, Claire, you're going to have to uh, wait for the podcast. We will be recording this show as well for a podcast. Thanks for joining in. Here we go. There's Dave now. Hi. Hi. How you doing? Very well, thank you. Hey, how's your sister, by the way? Uh, I'd rather not, you know, you know, get into that. Still upset about that. Well, I'm sure everybody was upset, but uh, thought it went very well last night. What? What? What was last night? Uh, I enjoyed the presentation, and I uh, thought it went very well. Oh, that wasn't for us. Are, are you sh- sure you're not uh, thinking about somebody else? I don't know. I thought it went pretty well, though. Oh, okay. Yeah, ready to go. Uh, sure. Uh, beginning with a couple of songs. We've got a few commercials there, parody commercials. Would you be a deer and run out and get me some more bananas? Um, I'm sorry I wasn't paying attention. Sure, no problem, Dave. Um, I, I just got the playlist. It, it, it's all going to be impro- improvised on the night. There, there aren't any recorded segments. I thought. That, don't you plan anything for these shows? Yeah, but I, I prefer to live on the edge. You know, wing it a little bit, huh? I, 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 have you talked to the producer? You don't need to worry about a thing, Dave. I, I, I think we can just wing it. This is really easy. This is so simple. You ought to just plan something. Just anything. A song. We've got songs. We've got call-ins. Yo, I can whip up some segments in no time. That's the show? Yeah, that's it. That, that's it? That's it. Sure. Yes. And this is just not working out. Well, you know, here is out. I mean, you, you got to trust me, Dave. It just doesn't seem to be going anywhere. Let's just try and think of something now, then. Well, yeah, but it's too late for that now. Oh, Sure. So I think probably sometime in the middle of next week I'll be placing another call to the executive producer. Uh, about the show? And none of your business. Is yeah, but, okay, but is he in Burbank? No, in Television City. Ah, Television City. Oh, oh sure, but oh, what about this? I'm going to call. I'm going to try him later in the day. Look, look, what, 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 what can we do? What can we do? If I don't get a hold of him this afternoon, it's going to have to wait till Monday. Uh, sure. Okay. Now what? It would be so nice if we had free M&Ms and we'd, we'd give them to all our friends and we'd give them to all the little kids and everybody would enjoy free M&Ms, but we're not getting them. Look, if this is about those M&Ms, I, I told Scott to go get them sorted, but, uh, you know... But we're not getting free M&Ms because you're an idiot. Oh, well, okay, wait a second, that's a bit harsh. It's because the show stinks. Well, okay, so in other words... Not in other words, those are the perfect words. No, listen... First shows are always going to be bumpy. I mean, yours wasn't perfect. Come on. I'd like to be excused. Look, Dave, wait. I wasn't insulting the show. I was just thinking out loud. You I, know, I, I, I just... think I'm going to have to leave. But you, you're leaving? What? Just like that? No input? I have nothing to say. The, but do you have to go, really? I'm going to the bathroom. Oh, come on. 
Be reasonable. I hate dealing with amateurs. Well, okay. Damn it. Ah. <sighs> That could that could have gone better. That could have um, really gone better. Okay.
Now, how is that for a little bit of professional crossfading? This part I'm not so proud of. The song has just started again, but then we just pretend that that didn't happen. Hello and welcome to Headline This. Uh, thank you very much for joining us. Uh, we will be uh, taking calls uh, very shortly. Hopefully we've got a few people queued up. Um, you were just listening to Brian Adams from The Craze. That's uh, the band by um, the Podfling's former um, co-host from Podfling Radio, if you remember that gig, David Smith. Thank you very much for donating that song. We are, of course, commercial-free, so uh, we can only take in uh, via donations at the moment. So uh, here we go. Um, what can I tell you? We're going to see if we can get uh, somebody on the line. I think we've got a caller um, from Texas. Now let's... Uh... So let's see if we can get Melissa. Melissa, are you on the line? She she says, "Oh my God, I'm ruining this for you." Why? What what's what happened then? Call failed. I think there might be something wrong on Melissa's at Melissa's end. It's not ruined at all. Don't panic. We've got plenty of other things we can get into. Um, how about a commercial? <laughs> See, these shows are never, never fluid when, when you're doing it on your own, without a crew, without a, without a clue. So uh, let's hear from our sponsors from Liquid Storage Bags. Now, Bob, consider this next question very carefully. Liquid Storage Bags! You will never get caught short again thanks to Liquid Storage Bags! Here you get eight, that's right, eight bags in which you can store your very own liquid items. Bags not sold separately, liquid not included. The attractive cardboard box is easy to open. With each wonderfully transparent, durable and easily accessible. Ready, Ready to, to go. go! That's right, when you've got to go, liquid storage bags are there for you. Liquid storage bags? That's right! Liquid storage bags! They're sleek, sturdy, and stylish. And what's more, you can write all the information you need right there on the bag. Where the space is provided. Warning, do not write on liquid storage bags. Liquid storage bags cannot be found in any store, by phone, or online. So you know that liquid storage bags are the product for you. And, and only you. What's it called? Liquid storage bags. Ah, uh, yeah. yeah. Liquid storage bags. Now, Bob, consider this next question very carefully. Uh, we won't be considering any questions. We're hoping to try again with uh, Melissa. Aha, she's calling. Uh, where are you calling? Okay, so should we try this? I, I don't think it'll... Do you know what we need? We need a little bit of background music while I'm tinkering with this. This sounds... Uh, yeah, okay. Let's do some serious background beat. No, 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 no. Oh, this is even better. That's... Uh, mm, yeah, serious background beat. Does it really matter? Let's just go for the... Uh, let's go for my favorite track. Tequila Samba. Okay, so she's not there, she's gone to the bathroom. No, she hasn't gone to the bathroom. Okay, right. Let's try Mil Melissa Rick one more time. I've got some important business for Melissa to get home. Can't. Can you hear me? I can hear you, Melissa. You're finally on the show. Yes. Golly, it was an act of Congress. I'm so sorry. An act of Congress. Uh, how are you doing? Doing good. Doing good, yes. Oh, it, it's been a while since we've actually spoke on the phone. It has been, Cute. and it's also apparently been a while since I've used technology. I'm just saying. Oh, I'm just saying. I know, I know. Well, you did accidentally call me. <laughs> you, you kind of... Uh, elbow called me earlier to uh, <laughs> well, you were lift, lifting a table with your husband and uh, and all I could hear was was I don't know lifting sounds and uh, so, something about when your cousin's coming over with a banjo I'm, I 
<laughs> no, that wasn't right. That was that was. Not you that were point. supposed to hear that. You were supposed to hear that. I was supposed to hear that. Yeah. <laughs> so so, how are you? How is how is the weather in Texas? Is it is it hot? Um. Yes, we only really have two seasons in Texas. That mm-hmm. is flooding, and oh my gosh, the devil just visited. I'm just saying. It's so hot here right now. It's like a yeah. hundred degrees and it's, it's muggy and traffic is bad. And I'll tell you what, if you ever, 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 ever want to look at divorce statistics, look at the people that have to drive down town Fort Worth on horrible construction mm-hmm. and have to go an hour with half and a pee. It will, Instantly shove you into divorce court mode. <laughs> because of the absolute rage, the rage that you have, road rage. The, the, oh, and everybody else. Okay. And, oh, it's just horrible. It's mm. like, I don't know how anybody wants to visit Fort Worth, Texas, because it is a disaster. Disaster. It, it has it has lots of uh, historical monuments, doesn't it? Or... it, it well, yes, yes, uh-huh. if you could ever get to them. See? Yeah, that's true. True, you got to get there, and then when you get there, you're cranky and angry, and you you just you're just not in the mood to work around walk around a souvenir shop. Yeah, that's right. That's, that's it. right. That's it. So, <laughs> well, so yeah, the last time we actually spoke properly was when we did uh, over and out podcast. Yes, that was yeah. that was years ago. Years, yeah. years, literally years. And years. You you used to have your own show. You used to have several shows. Yes, we used to have several. Sh- yes, so long ago. That's why I'm I'm apparently technology deficient right now because I haven't done them in years. But uh, my friend Robin and I used to have the Mighty Variety Show, and it was so much fun. It was just a lot of work, a lot of work, as you know. I yeah, do you know what it is? It is a lot of work, and it's a lot of cables. I have never seen so many cables <laughs> in my life. Uh, the, the fact that I actually managed to get to 20 minutes in. And I'm actually talking to somebody, and everything's going fine now. Um, see, I, I, I told you, first shows are always twitchy when you're doing a live show. Always, always, and th- yes. This, this is why you have that little producer in the box in the other room who's twiddling That's on right. And, you, and they that's just right. thumbs up through the window, and you're just like, <laughs> that's when you can sit back and relax. That's unless you have somebody like we had. We had Hal, and he would just hold up a little card that said, you're fired. Just because <laughs> you're fired. Okay, good. We'll just let you do all the work. <laughs> he must have worked for NPR. Probably. Yes. Probably. I've been picking on them a lot tonight. Have why. you? I don't know why. I, I, they're, they're a good national institution for you. So. Yes. Do, do, you, do, yes. You listen, do you listen to NPR? Do you listen to any other oh, yes. radio? Oh, yes. yes. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Is it Todd, Todd Glass? I think he's the, the most uh, well-known disc jockey there of course you, you've got a lot of famous radio uh, show personalities over there right it's a lot different over here isn't it i mean we have like mm. serious radio and all stuff like that and you know some of them have three and four channels and it's like wow can i skip a few channels so i can see if i can find something else but like howard stern he has like three channels three three He's, Three. He owns an empire. I mean, he's got a beautiful studio. I've seen. Yes, but, he uh, does. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, he's he's known to being quite a bit, a bit quite a shock jock, but he seems quite mellow in his in his older age. I th- I think the older he gets and the more he experiences life, I think he calms down a little. Yes. 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 Not as far as as concerned when it comes to women, but I'm sure. Or midgets. He loves midgets. Really? Or some little people. Oh yes. Little, little oh yes. People. He what's, likes little people PC? porn. Little people <gasps> porn. Oh no. I, I don't. I know. Well, not there's anything wrong with that. I, I mean, I'm totally, no. totally behind. Not, I'm, I'm not totally behind um, that. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Take yourself out of that one. Um, I absolutely love I, phrasing. I'm I, just saying. I love that. Are you? Yeah. <laughs> yes. I do it all the time. I mean, double entendres. I mean, uh, because. Because we are not, I've never, never actually done a live show simply because of this. <laughs> <laughs> and um, we've we've done, I mean, podcasts. We've, I think we've done three podcasts. The first one, Podfling, we recorded, uh, uh, pre-recorded uh, over and out, yes. was pre-recorded, and, uh, and frame by frame was was definitely pre-recorded. But uh, there were yes. moments where you, you just you just gotta cut all that out because it just. <sighs> 
And feel free to cut out uh, midget porn, except or little people porn, except oh, it's live. Porn. So sorry. It's, it's, no, it's fine. No, we. It, it, the you have is, no delay or anything, right? <laughs> I think I. Do you know what? We have a twenty-second delay, but I have no control over it. <laughs> That's the thing. It's very dangerous. Luckily, we're not. We don't have any uh, networks to answer answer for at the moment. But, there you um, go. Yes. Yes. Yeah, so uh, it's very <laughs> free spirited and relaxing. Okay, so. <laughs> So are you, are you thinking of going back into radio at all? Is there any what what's 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 going on? I, you know, I don't know because I have so much going on outside of everything. I mean, like for instance, one of the reasons why I, I was panicked today to try to get to the show is because we went to go get my grandson. So yes. I hadn't seen him in 4 years. So grandma, yes, grandma. Grandma. Grandma Moo. She she is taking care of him and and you know getting to know him again and my job my day job is just so packed that I'm never caught up and but I am still writing so you know if there was ever a time that uh getting used to going back onto the radio it would be with it would definitely be with Robin and it would be soon we definitely need it so yeah I, I think you make a good partnership you two. Yes. Yeah. Yes. She's she's my she is my oh my gosh. Just your like yin, you, she yang. she is. She compliments my horrible I'm eight years old inside mentality sometimes and we laugh about really stupid stuff mm -hmm. but we always have we always have fun. I mean we feed off each other. It's kinda like when you and I talk about like cartoons for instance. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, ca cartoons on my life now because I, I, we've got little boy here, and uh, that, that's, yes. that's that's basically his. Uh, he, he even shows me things I've never seen before. So, oh, and he's so beautiful. He's so sweet. He really is. He really is. I miss him. He's not here tonight. He's, oh, uh, is is he at grandma's or? He's with with grandma and and mum. Oh, um, ah. I, I, I'm so used to saying mom because all these years I've I've tuned into American television american radio i've always said mom i even write mom on my i don't say mum. we're supposed to say mum here and then what's ironic is mm. i am such a big british comedy movie everything i'm such a fanatic that i say mum all the time <laughs> mom. yeah I, I think yeah you just get used to it i can't you say, do i can't say the word jumper jumper yeah if if i'm gonna go and get my sweater it's, it's the sweater. I've always called it the sweater. It's always been a sweater for me. But ah. all of a sudden, if it, well, everybody else can say jumper, and I, I get it. But if I say jumper, it just doesn't sound right. It sounds like all, all I can think of is a bridge and somebody who's not, not very happy. <laughs> and they're just reflecting on his life. And I say, no, yes. I, I don't need that guy. I need a sweater. Thank you. Thank you. But yeah, How? I've never said it. Yeah, I've just always said. And you know what's funny is I have been I grew up watching British comedy, so I'll say something and people will just stare at me. I'll be like, I'm going to the off license and they're like, What? The off what? License, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it's it's that's it's cool. Odd. We never think about that though. I I mean when you when you do look at that off license, why why off. why do we say that? Yeah. I I don't know, but I've I've heard it for so many years that to me it's like it's easier than saying going to the the liquor store or the yeah the, the booze store or whatever you want to call it. I know, and that's the, the weirdest thing is that these places, the booze store, we have we have one over here. Uh, oh, help me out! What's it called? Uh, bargain booze. They call it bargain uh -huh. booze. And I and apparently it's a convenience store as well. It's got all the groceries in there, things you can buy. You can buy milk in there and everything. But I never I never knew that. I always just thought that it was just. It just caters for booze. That was it. They call and it. It's right there on the front. But you know, I didn't know they had. Well, stuff. and here in Texas, I you know I'm from Nebraska, so mm. and I've been here for 19 years. So it's not like it's new to me. However, you can go. You can drive through what's called the beer barn. I swear to you, beer you barn? can buy. Yes, yes, you you drive through and you stop that. and you tell tell them what you want and you can get. There's milk, there's soda or pop or whatever you call it there, because here everything's Coke. But it's you can buy milk, beer, soda, bread, 
cigarettes. You can buy all that stuff, and they just put it in a bag, and then they charge it, and then you just drive right on through. And a beer barn? Beer wow. barn. Yeah, they, they've got something similar in um, in Australia. Um, I'm not too sure if it's a beer barn, but uh, it's kind of, uh, from what I remember, it was uh, it, it was like a trailer with a, a yawning over it, and you just drive in between the yawning, and you just yeah, you just it's like a meat van. Um, <laughs> I remember going there with my uh, my landlord. He was a he was a big fan of bourbon and cola, and uh, he didn't care where he got it from as long as he could drink and drive. <sighs> what a nut! <laughs> oh, the good old days. <laughs> yeah, as long as he could, as long as he can just carry on with his foot to the pedal. Oh man, I tell you, <laughs> um, interesting year time that was. Yeah, but uh, yeah, it's amazing. What, I don't think they could ever get away with that here. Um, driving drive through beer places. Um, it, 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 I don't. I don't think people like to drive through even to get McDonald's here. So. <laughs> they, they have them, but I don't think I don't think it's caught on. It's not really there, there's no drive through Starbucks. I, I don't think we've got any of those here. And they have them here. They do, yes. A drive through Starbucks, yes. Yeah. Because you've been to America. Uh, yes, I, I sat I sat at um, the um, uh, the one in Fargo and uh, talked to all the uh, drivers while they were going while they were waiting. <laughs> wow. It was fun. That was kind of fun. Just, just we, we thought, where are we going to sit? So let's go sit over there because all those people are sitting in their cars waiting to go through the drive through and they look bored. Let's go and chat. <laughs> That's awesome. And like the coldest part of the country is where you went. Yes, yes. It was absolutely crazy. We got there and it was minus 30 something. Um, this was um, in, in early March um, 2009. So there was there, was, there were blizzards. It was uh, sketchy weather. Uh, there's a few videos actually that we uh, that we made um, while I was there, um, but it was really horrible weather. I, I went for a little walk because nobody walks in America. Nobody walks unless they're in a, a town or New York or you know. But it, it's it's just not done. It's true. It is true, isn't it? And uh, I walked for about two miles until I got to a J.C. Penny, and I was so <laughs> cold I almost bought a sixty dollar scarf, Chanel. It was very nice. It wasn't. It wasn't my color. Um, it would compliment your eyes, would it? Would it red, the eyes? blood coming out of my eyes from that temperature. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. As I say, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Oh, <laughs> uh, they, they came up with some really good phrasings up there. Good phrasings. Oh yes, <clears throat> don't you know? Yeah, one of, one of the one of the guys said uh, on a conference call. I used because I was for business over there, and uh, he said. Uh, he said, there was, there was, we're getting some some trouble with you, your team there in uh, Europe. And I said, okay, what, what's that? Said, we're going to have to come over there and give you all a spanking. And I'm like... <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I like where this conversation's going. Was, Is that what you said? Uh, I, I, said I said, no, I, 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 yeah, I'm sure we were fine. I, I, we never got into any uh, trouble with Fargo. <laughs> Two years, uh, f- four years later, and we no longer work for Fargo. <laughs> But that's okay. That's so, okay. So uh, at the moment, I think you're the only person who was calling in. We were supposed to have a, uh, several other people, um, but I can't check on them to see where where they are. I don't think. Is that because I'm hogging up all of your phone time? Because I'm like, I don't know what to do. I, I just know. need your help. And oh, Dan Morales. Uh, oh, hopefully we might be able to get somebody from LA in. Uh, I'll uh, just see how he is. <laughs> Are you ready? Are you ready for love? Okay, that's, that's a good message. <laughs> so I'll I'll just see if he's there. He he's already tried to call. So uh, I'll um, well we'll just just hang on until he's there. Okay. Okay. We can do that. We can do that, and uh, if. If it all goes to pot, then I think I'm going to have to call you back. <laughs> and that's okay. I'll do, I'll be here. You'll be there. Great. Uh, so, <laughs> so this is this is where we go to that awkward uh, awkward section of the conversation. And you definitely don't want me to hum for for mm-hmm. any kind of entertainment. That's right, because nope. it's scary. Well, it's also commercial. You're bound to hum something that's that's um, you know <laughs> jeopardy or something. I need to get some of those liquid bags. I'm just saying. I know they're 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 pretty intense. Those liquid bags. <laughs> I have ah. so many uses for them. We we have our man from L.A. So I'll I'll um, I'll 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 tell you what. 
Call call back in twenty. Me? Yeah. Oh, I'll, I'll call you back in twenty. Okay, that sounds yeah. good. Sounds good. <laughs> and, and then then you, you can you've got time to tune up your guitar and bring your uh, guitar over to the uh, to the phone, and uh, we can sing a few songs. There you go. Oh, yeah. that's scary. <laughs> do, do, do you play anything? Um, I play the radio, and oh, I play lip syncing. Uh huh. <laughs> okay, that's all we have time for now, Melissa. I'm, I'm very disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay. So I'm I'm gonna let you go, Melissa, and I'm gonna go and get Dan, the man Morales from Los Angeles. Okay. Sounds great. Okay. Thank you very much for calling in. You're welcome. I'll talk to you later. Talk to you later. Okay, bye-bye. Bye-bye. See, that was nice. That was nice. We love uh, we love Melissa calling in from Texas. I'm hoping that she's going to be a regular call in. Um, 20 minutes. I stole that from, from Dave Hill's show, the, the goddamn Dave Hill show, which is on uh, WFMU. This is a plug, by the way. Um, I'm plugging that show simply because... I'm trying to hook Dan the Man Morales up now. Let's see. Uh, where? Oh, here we go. I've got him there. Here we go. Plugging up a radio show. What am I like? Hello. Hello. Is this Dan? This is Dan the Man from the United States of America, pal. You you are representing the United States of America right now? I am. I am. Fantastic. I'm actually the United States of Donald Trump, to be more specific. Well, we're straight into the politics. <laughs> you're straight into it, baby. How are you, man? We don't mess around here in the colonies. How are you doing, Stephen? Everything good? Everything is, is good now, now that we're getting some calls in. This is fantastic. Are you ready for love? Are you, I'm ready for love. Oh, was that your British accent? Oh, That's so good. Oh. Ready for love? No, that's like. Well, actually, my family is from England. We're we're the Wasleys. Really? Back in the day. Wasleys. Yes, that's true. Oh wow. Dad, that's right. The Wasleys, right? I'm talking to this guy from England on the phone, the radio show. He's ah, unimpressed. Not impressed. <laughs> is that is that your son in the no, background? No, no, I don't need <laughs> So whereabouts are you calling from? Yeah. L.A. Whereabouts? Yeah, L.A. is I'm a big place. From, actually, L.A. This from Montebello, baby. And you're mad as hell at Donald Trump, is that right? Well, it's, I'm not. I wouldn't. I don't think "mad" is the is the proper uh, um, adjective or adverb. I'm not sure what that is. I, I'm more. Um, I'm more disgusted. I think. Yeah. Because anger, anger, uh, as Johnny Rotten said, anger is an energy. That's it. So remember that, pal. Oh yeah. Anger yeah. is an energy. Nice reference. Eh? Eh? Nice reference. Good. Right. 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 And I, I, I have, a, I have a, actually I have a political question. Okay. What is spotted dick? Spotted I saw a dick. spotted dick at a can of that at, at a at an upscale market. Now, what is it exactly? Is it bread in the can? It's uh, it's it's kind of a cake, and uh, it, it's ah. it's not usually made. It's usually made in a in a kind of a dish. Or it's steamed. It's a steamed pudding, um, and oh, the, you usually kind of flip it o- upside down, and you pour either you know, cream on there or custard. I prefer the custard, but spotted dick is yeah, it's it's definitely a a, a national dish. But you know the the thing in the can, well, I think well, it's Heinz a... in a can. I think they sell. Oh, but, well, uh, being I mean, you had some contact with the colonies over here. I'm sure yes. you're familiar that a dick is is a male um uh is, is male genitalia. It's a slang term for male genitalia. So if we're in America and you see a can of spotted dick, it inspires some. I'll admit, crude. Humor. And yes. base, uh, yes, yes. Yeah. Yes, so. Well, but is it, it does over here. It does it, and you know what? We, we've we've got uh, we've also got faggots. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! Oh, yeah, I yeah, know. We we have um, Stephen. <laughs> steady on. We we have a, a yeah, product. Steady on, mate. A, a steady on. A steady, we have a product called uh, McBrains. Uh, faggots and faggots oh. are are little little kind of dumplings, and uh, we have those. You know, I don't. I'm. I'm, I'm that's very judgmental. I don't, you know. I... <laughs> we have dumplings in a, in a, yeah, and and you can follow up with a spotted dick, and uh, yeah, it's it's. So you could actually yeah. have, you could actually have a some spotted dick, and put a faggot in your mouth after dinner. Is that correct? 
Usually before. Usually before. Ah. Yeah. You see, it's it's funny well, how rebel. it's funny how a word over there can sound so different than it, it does over here, and and it, it, it's it's hilarious. But uh, you know, we still mm. we still joke about it over here as well. But it's true. I mean, the word right. faggot has been really twisted so far. It has yeah. totally. Yeah. Right. Right. But, right. Uh, I'll have it's to, a bundle I'll have to, of sticks, actually. It is. All of it is. Um, there's there's so many words that you can't say now. It's it's. Uh, it's quite strange, but right. uh, yeah, that's, but or like uh, Churchill, you can't say Churchill you anymore, can, right? Or... You can say Churchill. They, they actually are. Oh, you can. They're also an insurance oh, wow. company as or, well. Um, yeah. Um, Churchill. You, I, I, yeah. I, I mean, are you from? You're not from Wales, are you? No, no, I. Because Roger Waters <laughs> is from Wales. Roger Waters is from Wales. Yes. And it seems like Roger Waters is perpetually angry and morose. Is that a is that a trait of whalers? Or I don't. No, I don't think so. There. Whale people. They're, they're, I, I find them to be quite calm and collected. Um, they're usually known ah. to be very musical. Um, I, I know, I know as, uh, this isn't a judgmental thing, but uh, there is, a, there is a, a, a pro-Welsh movement who are very anti-English. But, you know, it, oh. I, I, I think we can all get along. Now it's, we're talking. Yeah. <laughs> I detected a bit of fear in your voice when you said that. I'm, I'm <laughs> right. very afraid. I'm terrified. Uh. But, uh, you know, the, the, like I say, I, I don't carry any judgments when it comes to where people are from and it's it's just too too narrow i, I just can't I just can't oh no yeah right i mean you would share a spot of dick with with anybody regardless <laughs> where they're from right that's true that's true whether they had faggots in their house or not right it's fun to share that great? that's all great. i'm saying it's fun to share yeah. no you're absolutely right absolutely <laughs> but but right. Do, do you have any uh, other... so you're a father you're a recent father aren't you aren't um, you a recent father um uh, yeah um we've got a 19 month old here yeah Ah, very nice. Well, congratulations, old. congratulations. Thank you. It's uh, it's one How do you like being a father? It's great, absolutely. Isn't fantastic. it? Isn't it? I was terrified before. I though. think um, I bet, I bet. I was too to take him from that first baby. I was terrified to take him anywhere, like yeah. in the car or anything. I was just petrified. Petrified of. of but I think um, yeah, yeah, exactly. But I think it really, for me at least, it, it really provided um, a sense of perspective of my place mm-hmm. in the universe. I yeah. really, really. Right, you really hmm, okay, I get it now. Yeah, <laughs> you know, I get you it do, now. you do, you get it, but but you also see things differently. There, there's um, there's uh, I don't know about you, but uh, do you have that uh, a thing where you can get emotional about about other people's children, if there's if well, you know, if if there's fatalities? I, or yeah, yeah, suddenly, yes. Do you do you suddenly you're, you're suddenly really choked up about you, it? You know, speaking of speaking of Roger Waters that's the only <laughs> time I really get that feeling when he talks about some of his like I think it's the final cut there's some songs where he's like and no one kills the children anymore and it's like damn and just <laughs> you know man I, 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 it gets me every time I mean he's, he's, when, he, when Roger Waters does like that like Charles Dickens scream like Rawr! So they, you know, does wow, he still do really, that it gets me that's when I, I, well, I, it's, um, I, I guess it's pre-recorded now but he has like that like you know, yeah. this, this really, really, really gets me, gets me there. And um, and if I if I do contemplate it too, too serious, I'll get emotional about like mass killings or something like that. You know. Yeah, like, that, that's the thing. I can't look at that anymore. It, it, not, not that I really got got off of it before, of course, but it's just one of those things you, you kind of feel. Yeah, you do feel different when you when you've got a child. Very, very strong, very protective. Definitely, definitely. Yeah, that's why Donald Trump is scaring me. He, <laughs> to yeah. be honest, he's. He's scaring us he's as well. He's such a fucking asshole. I bet he's such an asshole. And and I would think that every appearance of his in America would be like given the 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 Kavet emptor like you know this guy's a don't listen to what he's saying but people love this idiot over here. They love him. And then that's yeah I I find it very strange. We we we're, we're we're worried as well because whatever america does in the world we tend to follow suit so you know, oh, you're, you're yeah. a big influence on us and uh of well, course i he's got a big over. kick out of that he was over here oh, when right, the yes, right. happened so yeah i know and they're talking about his golf course right <laughs> yeah that's exactly. what he was he's talking about his golf course right and then uh, uh, janie and, and Godley, i love did the you irish see, did you see the yeah. janie godley yeah right uh yeah isn't she fantastic <laughs> we the, um oh she is so great so great and i saw that i think it was a guy from doctor who that was reading the Irish insults about Donald Trump. <laughs> that would be Scottish. It was just Scottish. hilarious. They were, they were oh, Scottish. Scottish? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh man, that was just, those are just great. 
Yeah, they were, they were just uh, they're, they're great. I'll tell you what, but, but the, the, yeah, you've got a lot of British um, TV hosts over. You've got John Oliver, you've got uh, Cordell, Corden, love him, Gordon, love him, love him, and, yes. and they are doing such a good job of actually being quite um, thoughtful. Oh, John about Oliver's them. like like the real thing. He John really Oliver is. doesn't always he doesn't always crack me up, but he is so he has so much integrity. It seems like to me. Yes, he, he just really really goes for it. Really always fighting for the little guy. Yeah, he doesn't have that smarmy. I mean. He, He's, he's not snarky like the American hosts are. He really, he really fights for the little guy, for reals. You know, <laughs> like you know. Yeah. I love his show. It's hilarious. Exactly, and and uh, you've you've got uh, now Stephen Colbert is now in charge of the Late Show. Do you do you miss David Letterman? Were you a Dave Letterman fan? Were you an advocate of him? Or were you a Jay Leno camp? Because you actually, know, I, I was. No, I was more David Letterman mm-hmm. because that's more my kind of humor, like the silliness. You know? Yes. Definitely. About the guy under the man under the stairs. I, I like the silly kind of humor. That's what makes me laugh. Monty Python. Brilliant. Um, not so much Benny Hill. I mean, he didn't he didn't age well with me, Benny Hill. You know, no. I liked Benny Hill when I was like about eight, eighteen years old. Now it's like mm, uh, he didn't not he as didn't funny as he long here. We 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 kind of gave oh, up he? on him. We didn't. Yeah, we he, he didn't have like a long shelf life, right? It was okay. I guess, yeah, we sent you know? we sent him over to America, and everybody loves loves him there. But uh, right. Oh my God. Oh the oh the the young ones. Yeah. Yeah, the young I ones. still get a kick out of that. The young ones, Rick Mayo, oh, I still get a quite big a hero. Kick out of it. Oh yeah, and the League of Extra- the League of the League of Gentlemen. Is that what it's called? League of Gentlemen, I think. Yeah. Oh man. Yeah, uh, the, yeah, that was the one. Oh, that's twisted. back in the nineties. So though. good, it's so good. People, I, I barely got into that a couple of years ago. People turned me on to that. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> it's so great. And I think the the biggest uh, the the reason why these British shows are so successful was that they they had a limited run. I mean. If you look at Fal- uh, Faulty right. Towers, 12 episodes, it's no, 14 like two episodes. Seasons, right? That's it. That's it. Exactly. Right, right. So, you know. It, it goes out on top. Yeah. I mean, now you've got endless friends on loop every day, all day, every right. day, all day. And oh, jeez. Like, yeah. And just telling jokes about not. Reagan and stuff. Come on, man. You know, that's, you know it's not even. It's, it's old already, you know? But they. they oh, and what else? Ab, yeah. I like Ab Fab. I like. Um, they've, they've made a comeback. They've my, got a film, film out, haven't they? Yeah, yeah, I, I just saw that. Good. There was one my, my my son's into. I forgot it was in English, but I forgot what it was. But I like the kind of comedy, like when it escalates, like in um, Life of Brian. They're throwing rocks at the guy, and they throw yes. more stones, and it's a giant stone. That kind yeah. of thing makes me laugh. That's it. That's, and that's they have the one my The one my... I forgot what it was called. My son was showing it to me on YouTube. Like, the guy's smoking in an office. They're like, no, you can't smoke here, so he goes outside to smoke. They said, well, he can't smoke here. Then, like, he's in the middle of nowhere eventually, and he's, like, smoking out there. I forgot what it's called. It was hilarious. They're, like, the the series of their oh. IT guys, and they're, they're uh, I forgot what it's called, though, but my son was showing it to me. I was just cracking up. Oh, and it's definitely British. Yes, yes, definitely, yeah. And it was just, it was just really, really funny. That's how I'm, it a looks. Big, I'm a big, that's the humor that cracks, the British humor cracks me like that. I have, um, it's one I, can't I, I like Monty Python, the albums. I like that. There's one Monty Python album where, Eric Idle is doing the big long thing he does, where he's oh, and then mate, and then you go, and then God be your about he has a big old like it's like yes. a travel log. He's talking about, it, and it's really long. It's just crack. And I think Terry Jones like shut up, quiet, quiet. Near the end. Oh my God. Now that the thing I is, I can listen to that every day and laugh. They did shows in America, and uh, they did more than one, of course, and they were all bo- bootlegged. So uh, I think the, at the American Bowl, there's there's quite a few bootlegs out yeah. there, and that's I, why I went, you guys have all those. We we don't we, we don't yeah, get right. in. We don't get any of those over here, the, the live ones. So oh, the, really? You have to get, really hunt them down, and uh, they, they were put onto vinyl, I think, back over in America, and we, we didn't get them shipped over. They right, were, they right. Were little... I definitely wanted to give a shout-out to my British uh, uh, my British sense of humor. I, I think it's, that, that's really what I like. I mean, and the thing I, I found about it, and I, I tell my friends this, mm-hmm. um, English movies, as a rule, um, they represent real people. You see a, a movie from okay. Britain or England, and, and it's like it's like an old guy, there's a young guy, there's a fat guy, there's a tall guy, there's a short guy, there's an ugly guy with a hot chick. In America, they're all hard bodies in the movies. You know, it just it's not. I, I find that the, the is it proper to say British or English? Um, I at the moment we we can stick with British. It's fine. Why well, can't they? Right? Yeah. Okay, so with British, um, I find it's more they're more um they're more representative of, of real life okay. when you see a movie. You know, like like it's a there's old guys, there's young guys, and not like America. Everybody's young, everybody's hard-bodied, everybody yeah. has a big tits and a six-pack, you know. 
But that, that's, like the, that. that's the I, movies. I like but that. but your TV shows are pretty grounded. You've got you've got some pretty good ones out there. You've got Marin. That's that's going really well. There's there's some you, beautiful, yeah, beautiful you know, writing yeah, and that's, in that. Right. That's for me. And my friends love it, and they hate when I tell them this. I don't like it because it doesn't make me laugh. It doesn't make you <laughs> yeah. laugh because I I think it's yeah. More, I want comedy. I want comedy. Yeah. You know, like uh, Curb Your Enthusiasm. Oh. Did you get that? Did you like yeah, that? Yeah, I like that. Yes, I do like that. I like Seinfeld. That makes you laugh. You know, like, you know. I, l- I love but Larry Marin... David being yelled at. It's It, it, it makes me right, happy. Right, right. I don't know why. I love it when he gets yelled at. Me too. Me too. Fantastic. Yeah, me too. Yeah, exactly. Because <laughs> it's doll, his character. The you doll know? head? Oh, my gosh. That ep- <laughs> I, the, the, If anybody, if, if you have not seen Kirby Enthusiasm, look, if you want to find one episode, it's the one with the doll head. And, oh, right. my gosh. You right. Talk, talk yeah. about that big rock. You know that Monty Python rock getting bigger and bigger. <laughs> oh yeah, right when he goes exactly. That's that's what that's that's a, that's a, that's, a, that's the. Um, I get shivers. Really makes me laugh. Shivers down my spine with that one. Right, right, I, and the, like um, the fairly re- I've been fairly recently getting into this, about the last couple of years when I got into the League of Gentlemen, and that was so twisted and weird and still funny, like laugh out loud funny. It's really, 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 really. I, I suggest you look into it. It's really, really funny. And, and that was like I think four seasons also really a short you know limited run. It's, it's so good. It's, it's so good. There's like and they're like they're fans of old Hammer horror movies, so they throw that mm-hmm. in there too. And oh, it's just it's something. I, I can't even explain it. It's oh, really, I, really I can good. hear really yelling in the background. Is that Roseanne Barr? This is a, yeah. No, actually, it's a, a she well, it's fairly your house? similar. It's a Hillary Clinton. Oh, that's that's Hillary. <laughs> yeah. oh. it's Hillary Clinton actually. Yeah, yeah right. She's over for a. We're sharing some emails over here and in person. Ah, <laughs> really? She's actually doing that. She's I'm actually sharing her emails. Yeah, well, she's here. Yeah, actually, I'm like um, I'm like her male Monica Lewinsky. Uh, hush, hush, though. <laughs> I'm gonna release some video later. Oh so. yes, while well, enjoying your spotted dick. Yeah. <laughs> We yeah, have, but he was somebody's funnier than me. <laughs> we we have we have other other desserts that are less humorous. I'm sure. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm not interested in those. I'm only interested in the, uh, the the crude humor that I can make. Somebody's laughing at the fact that I mentioned vinyl earlier, but vinyl is still all the rage. You 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 got well, it. Yeah, right. Yeah, it's it's made yes. a huge comeback recently. Oh, totally, totally. I'm waiting for um uh, for VHS to come back. I think is uh, <laughs> yeah, that's the next the, big thing. Oh, that'll be so exciting. Um, the, or beta the, even. Right. No, I never reached out to Beta, but um, I, I'm more of an alpha guy. Um, VHS all the way. Um, or Gamma. Right, right. Yeah, that's the thing gamma about also, the, yeah, yeah. What, What's with the school system over there with all the Greek alphabet? You know, it's, it's very pretentious. <laughs> I, I, you <laughs> know, I could go into a de- I could, uh, yeah, I could, I could go into a detailed, um, obscene reverie about Greek and anal sex. You know, and that's, but that's look it up. That's what it is. It's uh actually a whole process of a uh, educational butt fucking so well yeah, that's 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 it in, that's it in a nutshell dear zoo <laughs> <laughs> i don't know what that means um yeah <laughs> well dan i think we're out of time i have actually we've actually gone way over the uh the, the time but no, i've, I've just, Steven, enjoyed, just i've been enjoyed great. this Thank so you for much indulging me. it's been fun i'm reaching out across the pond tell everybody in england that I hate Donald Trump, and most people do. And Donald Trump is not going to win. Don't worry. And it's about time. This is, the, this is the time in the movie when Sarah Connor is going to come back and kill Donald Trump. So get ready. She's going to come back in time. Okay. There's going to be yes, some tem- temporal um, temporal re- re- retaliation. And That's it's right. Be, baby. So, you wait for it. so you're waiting for Linda Hamilton to come back? Is it going to be her, or is it going to be the I younger am. one? I am. Yeah. Uh, no, it'll be Linda Hamilton. That, that's, I will only take the original. Yeah, that's definitely... Definitely. Well, I'm I'm looking forward to to the reckoning. <laughs> I'm sure, I'm sure, I'm sure. <laughs> the quickening, you know, maybe actually. But do you know what? I'm 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 hopeful and positive. I'm I'm kind of hoping that um, that you know Donald's got a few more months left. He's bound to trip up on something. But, yeah, I think so. You know, it, right. it, it seems to be quite easy for him to to say. Yeah, that my stuff, my so. father makes a good my father makes a good point. My father says he's already gotten all the votes he's going to get. You know, he's not going to persuade anybody else. You know, so that's true. Well, let's hope those aren't enough votes. You know. But there's there's not going to be a wall in my in my time, not in my time. Oh great, or your great, time. great. And he had a lot of nerve. To, yeah, no, only Pink Floyd the walls, only wall. Exactly, wall, that's wall, the only wall. Exactly, we're back to. Uh, and, and that, that wall Waters. is a symbol of. Yeah, right. That, that exactly, I love him. That that wall is a symbol of 
of uh, paranoia, and at the end of the at the end of that album, the wall comes down, baby. So. It does. All walls come down. Absolutely. Yeah, do, right? So there's there's no way. That's, that's very deep. Yeah, all walls come down. I think we can leave it there. Stephen, thank you for indulging me. I think uh, you, you should have me on again, like oh, really soon. I'd love to. This like is in about brilliant. Six minutes. In six minutes. No. <laughs> it's you. Okay. I, I, I give me a shout out on my Facebook or something like that. You know, I'm very, I'm very, uh, I'm very egotistical. Oh, we'll do. We'll we'll send you. Uh, we'll do another um, uh, a, a, a badly translated uh, commercial for your gigs. <laughs> Right, or right. your uh, oh, welcome hang it. on what, what's it called it's Pee Wee Herman Cholos Pee Wee Herman Cholos not Cholos not Cholos Cholos yes Cholos Cholos like high and low and like David Bowie's low and that's at the Cafe Nila if you reach Dodger Stadium right. you've gone too far <laughs> that was very no, but that was very good that was very good you oh. old Geo Rascal you oh you know <laughs> Geo Rascal I like that Geo Rascal I'm going to keep yeah, that yeah, I'm full of them. I'm, I'm taking that. Thank you very much, Dan. <laughs> Take it. It's been a pleasure. All right, Stevie, have a good day. Same to you. you Bye-bye. Too. Bye-bye. See, wasn't that absolutely delightful? I, I, I think I said 20 minutes for Melissa, but I, I was having such a good time with Dan there. Um, so I think we're going to have to bring her back. Is, is anybody else want to call in first? Diane, Amanda, Danny. Come on. Say something. Are you going to call in? That's me typing, by the way. I have not turned into a strange robot. It's got a bit of uh, music in the background. I think we're going to play a song. We're just going to have a break, and uh, let's let's see who we've got next. We'll be right back.
that was I Don't Mind, and that was uh, courtesy of Andy Lewin. Thank you very much for donating that song, Andy. Um, he's one heck of a musician, and uh, he's playing tonight at the moment in Halifax. Can't give you the venue. He didn't tell me, but uh, that's that's uh, pretty cool that he's managed to donate uh, some pretty cool songs. Uh, Melissa has got to go. Unfortunately, I uh, I wasn't able to get back after 20 minutes, uh, but um, she's been a fantastic guest. And thank you very much for Dan as well for, for calling in. Uh, we need to get somebody else. Is that a – I think a cat just brushed up next to my legs. It's either that or I have a, a home invasion already. No, not just yet. Okay, so we're just going to go for a brief commercial and then we'll be right back. Oh, I hope we've got something good here. We all need that moment in our lives where we are reminded about who we are and what we are about. It can come to you as a taste, a feeling, but rarely does it become a place so tangible that it is life-changing. A place where the deadlines are made by the seasons and order thrives in the vastness of biodiversity. That place is Australia. Australia is a land where the urban culture is put in its place against a fortified landscape of beauty beyond comparison. A place that provides lessons within an unforgiving terrain. Desert rocks, forest and coral. These are the custodians of a frontier that is crafted by evolution to an immense scale. The land is shaped impressively, as if still freshly touched by the stars that once created them. Visit Australia and see the many creatures that go their own way and yet live in harmony with each other as they encourage and influence the wisdom of Australia's people. Where else can life teach you about the challenge and reward, about trust, strength, and the willingness to adapt and overcome? Find balance. Find yourself. Discover the ultimate destination. Australia. So now let's listen to Decision, while I make another decision about what I'm going to do with the last 20 minutes of this show. This is one of Andy Lewin's.
that little bit extra percussion was me. I got hold of a tambourine and I couldn't help myself. Okay, so um, let's just say that I think that one hour was probably plenty for this show. Um, thank you very much for uh, for uh, listening. For all those who stayed with us, thank you very much. Um, I hope everybody is is enlightened and have, has learned something from all of this. Thanks to my guests, Melissa, Dan, as well as music from David Smith and The Craze. Not David Smith and The Craze, just The Craze. It's just that I know David Smith, and uh, he's a big part of The Craze. And uh, thank you, Andy Lowen, for supplying those songs as well. So this is Stephen Radford. You have been listening to Headline This, calling it a night. Be good to each other.